All right, everybody. Hello. I see. I see Mr. Happy Foxo, uh, Zeke the Fox, some coyote. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in for session. Uh, what is it? Session sixteen of my Tiger Japanese lesson. So, hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome in. Minasan kon uh kon. あ、実は太陽もある。そして、皆さんこんにちは。あ、サンディエゴで5時になりましたけど、もう太陽は見えます。I can still see the sun. Asanonix, welcome in. In fact, actually, Asanonix, you were asking Kitsuneko the other day uh, about Aru and Iru, and that is actually the focus of today's grammar lesson. So, um, this one may be one of the shorter lessons, and I say this now, and then watch, it's still like an hour and a half anyway. <laughs> so, uh, we, we shall see. Uh, we did do a lot in the last lesson, so uh, I do recommend that you guys take a look. Uh, we did, uh, we reviewed the kanji, and they were nichi, ni, bi, or ka. There are four ways to read this kanji. Unfor yeah, it, I'm sorry that there are four ways, guys. It's just something that you will eventually get used to. Uh, hold on a second. I, I, I forgot to load something up on my screen. Crap, what is it? Uh, yeah, here we go. Kindle Cloud Reader. That's what I wanted. The music for today is, of course, going to be our favorite walking dog. <laughs> yep, perfect. Okay, this is this is it. So, uh, let me briefly go over the kanji that we learned. Uh, if you would like to see how to write the kanji using the correct stroke order, uh, you will have to watch the previous video. So, I, I, I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, the vocabulary flashcards are here. They are available available for you on the Google Documents. And, well, like I said, so are the previous lessons. Let me go on and uh, do my beginning spiel about my Discord. So, exclamation point, Discord. It's getting to the point where I'm wondering, maybe I should just make a separate discord for Japanese lessons but uh, we shall see I, 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 like having too many discords would be an issue for me personally uh, anyway uh, if you join my discord that will take you to the rules section like this uh, once you agree to the rules uh, it will open up all the other channels for you uh, if you would like uh, to uh, have access to the notes for the Japanese lessons make sure you go to rule selector and ask for access for them. We have like 42 people looking into the Japanese lessons. This will open up the Japanese lessons here on the left. I can hide all this stuff now. Here we go. Uh, I should maybe add a chat room here later on, but I think uh, everyone's using Kitsuneko's server for the study group thus far. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's see. We're currently on Japanese 1 because we're undoing chapters 1 through 6 and eventually the Japanese 2. If you go to resources, you'll see at the very top, there's my YouTube playlist. I've updated this. It now has sessions one through fifteen. Um, I haven't. I'm, I am having a problem with like random people like typing in links in my videos, and those links are like to um, Russian hookup sites, and I'm like, what the hell? What, what is this? And so I've had to like look through my videos and like block and like delete some like a few comments, and I'm a little disappointed that that's a thing. <laughs> but. Mm. I guess that's part of the territory of hosting your own vid- uh, putting up your own videos. I'm a little sad about that, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, there, uh, that would be the, <laughs> that would be the, um, YouTube playlist. Then we have the notes for chapters 1, 2, 3, and we are currently working on chapter 4 right here. Um, if you would like to follow along, you can open up the document so you can see it on your screen. I see there's an anonymous cheetah. Is that me? Is that me or is that another? Okay, so there's another anonymous cheetah. So anonymous cheetah, welcome. So <laughs> uh, anonymous. Oh, one uh, One more time. Konnichiwa, kitsune rog. Yokoso, welcome in. All right. So quick review. We have our vocabulary. So you can access this by clicking here. It's to open up a Quizlet. Uh, the kanji we have ni, uh, nichi ni bi ka for day or sun, hon for book or basis, jin or hito for person. Getsu, gatsu, ski for moon, ka or hi for fire, sui or mizu for water, moku, ki for tree, uh, kin, kane for gold or money, uh, do, tsuchi for soil, yo, this was like the, 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 the hardest kanji for us to learn how to write for weekday, 
Uh, ue for above on, shita below, chu or naka for middle or inside, and han for half. Jesse, yokozo, welcome ne. Welcome. Uh, we also went over the days of the week, which was like nichiyobi, getsiyobi, kayobi, suiyobi, mokuyobi, kinyobi, todoyobi. So we have our, our days of the week. Uh, kyo wa nanyobi desu ka? So, so, mina san, kyo wa nanyobi desu ka? Nihongo de in Japanese, kyo wa nanyobi desu ka? Kyo wa nanyobi desu ka? Uh, write your answers in the chat if you can. Kyo wa nanyobi desu ka? Kanji de kaite mo ii. Yeah, you can use the kanji for this as well since we've learned it. Uh, we also went over the months in Japanese. In fact, we, over went, we went over like time a lot. So we have like uh, January through December. Remember, the rule for months is really simple. The number plus gatsu, the counter for months. So 1 through 12 are the only numbers we will use for months. Now, ima, right now, ima wa sangatsu desu. It is March. And then we also talked about the days of the month. Now, today's the 22nd, so it's a bit easier to say today's date. But remember, there are specific rules for certain dates. Kyowa gets yobi desu. Hi, Kyowa gets yobi desu yo. It is getsu yobi. That is correct, Jesse. Uh, but remember, the first 10 days and anything with the number 4 have special rules. Uh, from 11, 12, 13, the rule, it, 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 there's its own pattern. And that rule will continue until the 14th. And 20th also has its own special rule. They, they had to be special and unique. Uh, then we also went time and minutes. The counter's number plus fun. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, a lot of them have different ways of saying it. It's not going to be fun, it would be pun for a lot of these. Like ipun, then nifun, then sanpun, yonpun, gofun, rukpun, nanafun, hapun, kyufun, jupun, juipun, nijupun, and, and so forth. Uh, and that's where we ended last time. We were talking about time, uh, days, and um, months. So for today, we will continue with our first grammar point for chapter four. So uh, let's put in my insert table because you know you guys know at this point that I like making my notes nice and organized with tables. I actually, I do this with my students in school too. I do, I do the exact same thing. Kyo wa nan yo kyo wa nan yo kyo no eto. How how do I say this? I'm like, why am I drawing? Kyo wa nan gatsu nan yo bi desu ka? What is today's date? Uh, actually, we'll call this session 16. Using aru, iru, to describe locations. So, minasan kyo wa. First of all, remember when saying the date in Japanese, we put the year. Uh, how do we say the year in Japanese? Uh, kotoshi wa nan desu ka? Kotoshi wa nan desu ka? What is this year? And Jesse already told us the date, so we can put getsu. Why is it not in Japanese? Getsu yobi. I'm gonna put the whole thing since we've learned it this way. Uh, you may notice in Kitsuneko's stream that he just puts the first kanji, getsu, like this. So, but uh, because we've learned this kanji, I will personally use the whole thing. Niju uh, ni ichi sen. You're you're close, Asana. <laughs> uh, uh, remember, two thousand. Ni sen. There we go. Ni sen. Ni sen. And I can put this in kanji now. Ni sen. Niju. You got the niju for twenty. That's the wrong ju. Ni sen niju ichi ne. We haven't learned the kanji for nen yet. But that's okay. Uh, uh, kongetsu wa nan desu ka? Kongetsu, this month. Kongetsu wa nan desu ka? Uh, nan gatsu desu ka? Non gatsu desu ka? You had the right numbers in there. <laughs> but you had niju and ichi. Correct. Uh, sangatsu, hai. Uh, uh, kongetsu wa sangetsu, sangatsu desu. Sangatsu. So, shite, kyo wa nan nichi desu ka? Kyo wa nan nichi desu ka? And remember, this is one of our new words too. Let's see where is it. Kyo wa nan nichi desu ka? For like, what day is it? Kyo wa nan nichi desu ka? 
Here it is. 何日今日は何日ですか And I'll put this in the hiragana romanji in a moment. Actually, no, I will not put it in hiragana because we've learned these. 22日です。はい。今日は今日は22日。22, you got the numbers right, don't forget the counter. Nichi. Kyo wa nijuni nichi desu. So, ni sen ni ju ichi nen sangatsu ni ju ni nichi. Then, get to yobi. That's kind of funny to say, ni ju ni nichi. Ni ju ni nichi. If you should, like try to say that to them, Nijuni Nichi. My favorite day to say in Japanese though is Sanju Sanjuichi Nichi. Sanjuichi Nichi. Because this, I, I call this Sandwich Day. <laughs> this is just this is just my own, this is just something I made up. San, sandwich Day. Sanjuichi. Sandwich Day. Do you guys get it? <laughs> Sanjuichi. <laughs> okay, I'm making. I, I'm such a dad. <laughs> okay, all right. I I I will move on. Like boo, I, boo. I'll go home. <laughs> Keep my day job. All right. So today's goal is to use aru and iru to describe kitsune <laughs> to describe locations. Um. We're going to be doing this. There are actually multiple ways we're going to be using aru and iru today. One second, hold on. I got a message. Uh, out of all the songs from Walking Night, I don't like the cold coffee one. I don't like that listening to the fighting in the background. Okay, so there are two ways that we will be using. Can I zoom in on this? Whatever. There are two uh, words we're going to be using. The,、uh, the two verbs are aru and iru. So, for today's lesson,、um, I'll put this in bold and italics. Important vocabulary for this lesson. Our first one is aru. Our second one is iru. And to help simplify these a little bit for you guys, our first one, aru, is a u verb. And our second one, iru, is a ru verb.、Uh, so, first things first, how are we, how would we, if aru is a u verb, how do we conjugate it? How do we conjugate aru if it is an u verb? Remember the rules for u verbs. Aru turns into what? Arimas and arimasen. That is correct. So, we have arimas. And arimasen. And hiragana de,、uh, hiragana de arimas. Arimas to arimasen. So, ste,、uh, iru. How do we conjugate our, our, how do we conjugate iru? Imas, because it is a ru verb, and what is the negative word? Imas and imasen. There we go. Good. So, imas to imasen. Now, there is a very big difference between these verbs, and I'm going to highlight the meaning for, the, for this. Both of these verbs mean the same thing, and that is, and I, let me try to classify what the book says because it's a little, it can be a little tricky. They both mean the same thing. There is or there are. Something exists. For some reason, I feel like iru is an irregular verb. I don't know why. You would think so, but it actually it, it is actually a ru verb. So both of these mean this exact same thing that there is or there are. Something exists. But there is a major, major difference.、Um, uh, the, the other one,、uh, Immortal White Fox. Aru equals 
things, objects, non-living. Iru is the opposite. Iru is used for peop pe people, animals, living things. And it's okay. I often, I, I, I mix these up sometimes a lot too. And this part here is probably the most important thing between uh, when you when it comes to using this verb. They like I said, they both mean the exact same thing. So I'm gonna use a different highlight for this. Let's use orange. That looks exactly the same. Uh, let's use blue. There we go. Aru for things, objects, non-living, and iru for people, animals, living things. Now I know some of you may say, but but trees are living. Do we use iru or aru? Um. I mentioned this to my uh, to, in Kitsuneko's stream the other day. I don't know if he fully, uh, if she fully agrees with it. My professor said, if the thing that you're talking about has a conscience that it can think, like animals can think, then you would use iru. But things without a mind, without a brain, that ju that are just kind of living, uh, you would use aru. And I'm not sure if that's completely correct nowadays. But we, but we, but that that's the way I was taught. Like. You would, for trees, they can't really think on their own. Uh, they technically don't have a brain and can't think. So we would use aru. It's the same thing for like a, an, an amoeba. It, it, it just kind of exists. So we would use aru. But like a dolphin is smart. So we'd use iru. Kind of thing. And then, of course, there's the there, there are the students that are like, what about people that were alive, but they're dead now? Um, technically, you would still use iru, iru, but you'd use the past tense, like, imashita, they were, they existed. Or just say shindemasu, they're, they're dead. But that's another grammar point that we will learn mm, probably in, like, Japanese too. Again, I'm simplifying it so that um, it's a bit easier for you guys to understand. Uh, whatever changes, uh, you may have to learn later on. Uh, it's more like connected. What do you mean by connected? Though? Like, I could say I have blood cells, and blood cells technically are living things, but I would say, like, I did aru for that versus, because it's part of me, I guess. Now, there are actually going to be multiple ways that we use aru and iru for, for this grammar set, for, for, uh, for this grammar lesson. Uh, that's, that's the wrong thing. I don't want that to show up. So, I'm going to put this as number one. Oops. One. You can... Oh, actually, let me... I don't like that number one. Let's make this a title. You can use aru... Iru to describe where things are. That's fucking huge, guys. <laughs> uh, maybe part of a bigger hole, I, I, I guess. It's still like. Like, the individual cells themselves would be Aru, but like a tree still would just be Aru, from what, I, from what I've been taught. That's every furry's dream, to be connected, or part of a bigger, to be connected, uh, ooh, ooh, uh, like connected like uwu. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so, when we are... Talking about where things are, we're going to talk about the, we'll use this format, use, use this frame to describe where things are. So let me see if I can do this in a table. Location, wow. Oh, that's fucking huge. <laughs> Every furry's dream, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so funny. Let me see if I can do it this way, using all of these. All right, so it looks like I'll have to reduce the size a bit. Let me go down to 150. I think you guys can still see that fine. Uh, 
All right, so we'll, we're going to use this example. Like, I, I have, like, a few examples, and I'm not sure if I really like them. All right, so we're going to use Asoko. Um, who remembers? What is Asoko? Asoko. This is one of the ones that we learned before. Asoko. Let me center all of these anyway. And then I will... Asoko... What is Asoko? Uh, we used this before when talking about this, that. Who remembers? What is Asoko? Did I spell that right? Yes, that over there. So, Asoko, that over there far away. Asoko ni makudana rudo ga. And I need to add another one. Insert to the right. And then, arimasu. Now, first of all, let me talk about the verb. We use arimasu. And hold on. You know what? Better yet. Let's do this. One. Asoko ni mak. Did I spell this correctly? Maku Danarudo. Because I know they sometimes just call it Maku. No, I did not spell it correctly. There we go. Maku Donarudo ga arimasu. First of all, why are we using arimasu? Uh, you can make a guess. Why are we using arimasu as our verb in this sentence? And I'll add the colors to this in a bit, guys. Asoko ni makudanarudo ga arimasu. Makudanarudo. We're using arimasu. Uh, that is correct, because we, we're talking about makudanarudos. First of all, do you guys know what makudanarudo is? Usually they may, uh, in Japan, they may just call it maku at this point. Because they like abbreviating these things. Makudanarudo. Yes, it is McDonald's. It's because this is a place. This is a non-living thing. This is a place. So we're going to use arimasu in our sentence. Uh, makudanarudo. McDonald's. Makudanarudo. <laughs> but yes, this is McDonald's. You may notice that there are a few things here that are strange. And the first one I'm going to highlight is this. One second, guys. Uh, the first thing I want to highlight is this. First of all, what is this particle used for normally? What is this particle used for? What did I teach you guys that this particle is used for? It wasn't location. <laughs> because location is particle de. Yes, this is, normally we use a movement particle. So our first one, Asoko, that's our location. Over there is our location. What is over there? McDonald's is over there. But this is where it's tricky. So when describing where things are, the verbs, aru, iru, require using particle ni, Instead of de. Oh god. Why thing? Why? There you go. And this is a very this is a very very important rule. Uh, when you are describing the locations of things, you must use particle ni instead, and this is an exception. Normally ni does mean like uh, movement, like there's some kind of movement happening but first of all the mcdonald's is not moving we're describing where it is but the the rule for this is that it requires the use of particle ni uh normally if you got if i if i give you a vocabulary list this is usually mentioned in uh the vocabulary so like for example uh this is from the textbook 
Uh, da, 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 da. And you can, can I zoom in? Can I, pl can I please zoom in on this? Does it let me zoom in? No? Really? It won't let me, whatever. Anyway, like some of the verbs here. Here's iru. Uh, place, ni, person, ga. Usually the textbook, if you have it, will explain uh, what you're supposed to be using. This also is in, um, where's iru? Here. Person, ni, place, uh, uh, place, ni, thing, ga. You may also notice that for the verb to meet, uh, it's person, ni. You meet that person. You're like moving to see that person, I guess. Control, scroll up. Yeah. You know what? I should know that. Our control plus even. Up. But now I can't. Now it won't let me scroll left or right. I, mm, I hate these little programs that they added to these things. But usually, uh, I try to put those in the flashcards. So this is location. I'm gonna change this location to place. So place, use particle ni, thing, and here's the next particle. And this is, this may be the, is this the first time we're using particle ga? Or did we use ga before? I, I can't remember. I, meant, I remember talking about ga. Oh yes, I did. When we are using question words, we use something ga for like, for an emphasis. Um, We're going to talk about this too. Notice that we are also not using particle wa, but ga instead. And these are very important, especially when using this. And this is, uh, hopefully we can do a lot of practice with this. We will be using a uh, particle wa instead. Hold on. There's usually a better explanation for why we do this, but I don't see it in this new version. Um, the best way I can say that is because we are using ga because because new information is being emphasized or presented. So I'll highlight this part in orange because I put it in the orange box. And then I'll highlight this in that red because I put this in the red box. And these are very, very important. So you guys were correct. We were talking about McDonald's, which was our non-living thing. Asoku ni makadanrenos ga arimasu. Yeah, shift plus scroll for horizontal scrolling. Yeah, but it's like, uh, I need, uh, is it, I can do that for horizontal? I thought it only works for vertical. I'll have to give that a shot later. So basically we have place, I probably should put these in the top. Place, use this particle, not de. Normally de is our location, ni is our direction, but um, the verb aru, iru are special and they require the use of particle ni instead. Then we have our thing, ga, because we're presenting this thing as new information or we're emphasizing that this thing exists over there, far away. Let's try a few practice sentences with this. If I wanted to say, hmm. Let's see. But any, hold on, let me put this in English. 
also. Let me merge these. Uh, this sentence by itself, it means there is a McDonald's over there, far away. And remember, the there is here, this this here, there is, is actually from Aru, for uh, things, there is or there are something over there. So there is a McDonald's over there, far away. That's what this sentence means. Not, not examples, practice. Let's try this sentence together. Hmm, which, what can I say? There is a cat over there. And this over there is by you, like by someone else. How would we build this sentence, guys? How would we build this sentence? In fact, let me go on and make a table for this example. I need one, two, three, four, I need five, I believe. Yes. Similar to what we did before. So we need a place. We need our particle. The thing. Another particle. And a verb. So first of all, what would our place be in this sentence? In English, what is the place? Uh, just type the answer in the, uh, what you think so in the chat. The cat is over there by you. It would be, yes, we would use soko for this, in this sentence. Soko, oh, wait, what? Soko. Uh, let's do this then. Soko. What particle must we use when using the verbs aru or iru? What particle must we use? Similar to the frame that we have from before. We're basically saying, yes, we're going to be using particle ni. Ni. What is the thing we are talking about? Soko ni. Hai, neko. We're talking about the cat. Neko. Neko. That's, that's definitely not Neko. Neko. We're talking about the cat. What particle do we use when presenting new infor information or presenting uh, something or emphasizing something? We're emphasizing the cat is over there. We are going to use particle ga. And what verb should I use in this case? Soko ni neko ga. What verb am I using for this one? Yes, imas. Why am I using imas and not arimas? Why am I using imas and not arimas in this sentence? Yeah, cat is alive. The cat is alive. We're using this because the cat is a living thing. With a mind of its own and probably terror in its in its head. Uh, near you? Uh, there was a cat over there by you. Now, I use this by you to describe that it's next to someone else. Uh, you know what? That's that's very good. Let me, let me change that. By, let's see. Next to who you are talking to. So, so I can uh, specify more clearly. The cat came back. They thought it was a goner. <laughs> So there's a cat over there next to who you are talking to. There's a cat over there. What if it's Schrodinger's cat? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Good. Let's try number two. Uh, one more example. Uh, any, actually, let me, let's all say this together. The cat is in the box. Um, we can't use that just yet. That's the, one of the last grammar points, but we can learn how to, we will learn how to say that this chapter. Neko wa hako no naka ni imas. Uh, so repeat after me, and of course I can't hear you, so but it's perfectly fine. But this is good practice. Soko ni neko ga imas. Soko ni neko ga imas. Soko ni neko ga imas. 
Uh, please be aware that you can also say Neko ga soko ni imasu. And it would mean the exact same thing. I'm just like flipping, uh, just flipping some things around. But remember, uh, depending on word order, make sure that the particles match what you're talking about. Um, and it's really up to you. I actually prefer, personally, I prefer this way <laughs> for some reason. Uh, but you can use either way. For the examples, uh, as we're learning, um, I will continue using the way the textbook wants us to learn these. So, soko ni neko ga imasu. Neko ga soko ni imasu. Both of these are correct. And remember, we talked about uh, word order before. As long as the particles are connected to the correct uh, nouns or uh, objects, then it's perfectly fine. Let's do one more practice. Let me think. Hmm. Oh, this. Stop. Sorry, my cat. My, my cat. My dog keeps trying to chew on his paw when it's itchy. And I don't want him to because then he like literally chews on it till it starts bleeding. Uh, then the cat is in the box. Uh, we can't do that one just yet. Hmm. Man, we're quite limited in what we can say with these. Um. The restaurant is... Let's just say here. The restaurant is here. How would I say this sentence? The restaurant is here. The restaurant is here. And just like before, I'll use the table to help you guys with this. The restaurant is here. So, of course, of course the place, particle, the thing, another particle, and then our verb. The restaurant is here. Uh, let's see, Jesse. Koko ni restaurant ga arimasu. Hai! So our place, here is our, uh, it's the, uh, the place we're talking about. We're talking about koko, uh, here. Koko. I'm sorry guys, I almost forgot. Koko. And we're using particle ni. Remember, uh, when we're using the, uh, verb, aru or iru, we must use particle ni. The thing is, uh, restaurant. And we did learn this one already. It, it is one of the vocabulary words we have been taught. re su to -ran. Restaurant, our particle is ga for uh, emphasis or presenting new information. And arimas. Arimas. And a uh, quick review why are we using arimas instead of imas in this sentence? Doshite arimasu skaimasu ka? Why do we use this instead? Because the restaurant isn't alive. That is correct. So this is one way of using aru. We are using aru or iru to describe where things are. Now, you can also use aru to describe things that you have or own. And this one, the, the format for this is going to be a little different. You can use aru to describe things that you have or things that you own. I'm trying to do my example before. I'm trying to make it this consistent. So you can use this frame to describe things you have.
I think it's going to be the same. And then um, let's center everything first. So we'll start with the subject, particle, thing, um, another particle, and then our verb. So I'll give you uh, the first example. You can see transparent. Let's say, who can I use? Some coyote. Uh, don't forget, we're talking about a person, so we need our honorific. Some coyote san. And because we're talking about him, what particle should I use? What is my topic marker? What is my topic marker, if you guys remember? <laughs> yes, correct. We're going to use wa. In this case, we are using particle wa. Because uh, this is marking our subject, which is some coyote san. Um, some coyote san. Let's see, what vocabulary word could I, could I use? What's a new word that we have that we can use for you? No, I'm not going to use that one. Wait, this was not one of the vocabulary words. Hold on. Let me double check. I don't I don't recall this one. It's not. Imagine that. Okay. Let's say bread. We'll you we'll use the word bread. Some clearly sign what? And a bread in Japanese is pun. Pun. We're also gonna continue using ga for emphasis. And then arimasu. Now this is a little different because we're not talking about locations anymore. We're talking about things someone owns. So our topic marker, I'll use orange, and then our particle. We're still using particle ga because we're at or we're emphasizing what some coyotes are uh, owning. This one should be blue. Why did it change color? Stupid thing. So some coyote san wa panga arimasu. Coyote wa pan ga arimasu. Yes. No, we don't use particle no because, um, and this is mostly because of the verb we're using. There is a bit of a difference because, um, in this sentence, let me, let me merge these. Uh, I'll try to, and that's actually a very good question. This sentence on its own means... Some coyote has bread. Like, he has bread. Um, Astronautics, you're using, um, you're talking about no. If I were to say, I would have to say, like, Kore wa, this is. Some coyote no pan desu. Th the difference here is that this. This is some, oh my god, coyote's bread. And that's, and that's, and that's the biggest difference between them. This one says some coyote has bread or he owns bread. This means this is his bread. There, and that's the difference between this, the two sentences and why we do not use particle no yet. But I want you to remember that because we will be using that much later. <laughs> uh, does that help clear this up a little bit? Uh, why it's not using particle no. Right, no problem. So, kore wa san kayori no pandas. This is some coyote's bread versus some coyote has bread. Now, I'm going to change this real quick. No, I can't do that. That would be a better example for the first one. Um, let's try this again. Let's say... Did I explain this further? 
No, in fact, some of the rules are still repeating. Like, we're using particle ga, again, to emphasize the thing that our topic owns. Or we're presenting new information. The new information is, uh, we're talking about his bread. Some coyote-san wa pan ga arimasu. And, actually, let me say this slowly if you guys want to repeat with this sentence. Some coyote-san wa pan ga arimasu. Some coyote-san wa pan ga arimasu. Sankoyori-san wa pan ga arimasu. Let's see. How would we say this one? Let's try practice. P R A C T E I C. Let's try number one. Um, how would I say, I have a television, or I have a TV? How do you think we would build this sentence? And I'm not going to use a frame this time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to just write it as like a normal sentence. How would I say, I have a TV? Nihongo de, I have a TV wa nan desu ka? Nihongo de, I have a TV wa nan desu ka? Uh, that is correct. And I'm going to put this in parentheses. So remember, uh, when talking about yourself, if it's inferred, um, you don't really need the watashi wa. So watashi wa uh, TV, terebi. Terebi ga arimasu. Watashi wa terebi ga arimasu. Good. So repeat after me, guys. Watashi wa terebi ga arimasu. Watashi wa terebi ga arimasu. Watashi wa terebi ga arimasu. And I apologize. I had to, I had to like, take a drink there. <laughs> Our next example sentence, let's try, um, thanks for the, hi for I'll hydrate again. <laughs> Arigato, ne? Ocha wa oishii desu yo. Ocha wa oishii desu. Ocha wa oishii desu. Now, let's try to ask a question for this one. Delicious tea? Yes, delicious tea. Do you have... Hmm. Do you have a watch? And we talked about watch before when we were talking about, like, a shopkeeper and money. Uh, remember, watch is... Uh, who remember? What is watch or clock? Do you have a watch? Yes, okay. Correct. Okay. So, how would I add, how would I say, do you have a watch? Do you have a watch? And I want to see what you guys can come up with. Um, simple thing. This is now a question. So, instead of just arimasu, we must end with our question particle, which is what? What, how should we write this sentence? Do you have a watch? All right, so there's one answer. Some coyote close. Remember, we're using uh, only one mistake. It's the particle. Other than that, yes, it's correct. So, uh, most of you are using this correctly. So, anata wa. And uh, I'm putting this in parentheses again because if you're talking to someone, uh, it's probably implied you're, you, they know you're talking to them. So, toke. Toke ga arimasu 
Ka, and I'm, I'm happy that everyone um, put the question particle there. So, uh, why does it do this? There we go. Do you have a watch? So, anata wa tokei ga arimasu ka? Anata wa tokei ga arimasu ka? Very good. Do you have, because you're asking if someone owns something. Wubli, welcome in. Yoko ne? So, do you have a watch? Anata wa tokei ga arimasu ka? If you want to ask someone, like, do you have time, like, extra time, like, jikan ga arimasu ka? Jikan, that's a different, uh, that's one of our new vocabulary words for time. Jikan ga arimasu ka? Are you free? Do you have time? Hima ga arimasu ka? We haven't learned that word yet, though. Ie tokei ga arimasu Tokei ga arimasu I don't have one. And actually, that's a very good example. Let's let's do a negative because we've we just haven't been doing po positive. Let's do let's try a negative one. I'm glad you did that, uh, Woobly. Um, let's see. I do not have. Um, hmm. It's like I I I'm like reverting to wanting to use sushi again, but I want to use new vocabulary words. So let me see. Let me see what's a new word. That they uh, want us to use. I do not have. I do not have. Let's use picture or photograph. I do not have a picture. I do not have a pic, uh, photograph. Um, who remembers? It's one of our new vocabulary words. What is pic? Uh, what is a? How do we say photograph? Photograph wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Photograph wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Or even better, yeah. Nihongo de photograph wa nan desu ka? Hai, shashin. So, shashin. So, how would I say this? Uh, Wooblies put his an uh, their answer in. I do not have a photograph. Hai. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. Good job, guys. Um, again, I'll put this in parentheses because remember, um, it is. It may be implied that we are already talking ab about yourself. Watashi wa uh, shashin ga arimasen. Very good. Watashi wa shashin ga arimasen. And that's usually out of habit. Uh, shashin ga arimasen. Hai, shashin ga arimasen. And I could elaborate more. I, I could say like, kodomo no shashin ga arimasen. Kodomo no shashin ga arimasen. I don't have pictures of a child. Eventually, we'll learn like kodomo no toki, kodomo no toki no shashin ga arimasen. I don't have pictures of when I was a child. Boku no shashin o totte masen. I did not take a picture of, uh, of. I did not take my picture. Posture check, thank you. Oh my god. I actually worked out today, guys, so like my back's kind of sore. <laughs> Maybe I'll put like another progress photo in Kitsuneko's chat since, you know, like I'm so, I'm so humble putting these shirtless pictures of myself. <laughs> Alright, so far, Mina-san, I was trying to say I don't want my picture taken. Uh, watashi no shashi no toritakunai, probably. I don't, like, I don't want my picture. Uh, don't take my- I don't want you to take my picture. Watashi no shashi no toritakunai desu. Please don't take my picture. Uh, so far, any questions on describing the location of an object as well as describing what you own? What you or someone owns or is in possession of?
Now, I remember when I was in college, one of the questions we ask is, Arimasen, sensei, so you don't have any good. Okay. Um, Wubli said Arimasen, sensei. Uh, that means I don't have, like, I, I ask, do you have any questions? And he, uh, they just replied with Arimasen. That is correct. That is appropriate. Arimasen means, in this sense, in that case would mean, I don't have any. So, Shitsumon ga Arimasen. Is what he's trying to say. So, like, Shitsumon, which means question. Arimasen. Which just means... I question, uh, in this case, it just means I don't have any questions. That's, that's what, uh, Wubli was saying. Arimasen. So if I ask, like, shitsumon go arimasu ka? Do you have any questions? Shitsumon, question. Shitsumon ga arimasu ka? You could just say arimasen or shitsumon ga arimasen. Uh, inu ga imasu ka? Hai, inu ga imasu. Um, be careful with this one. Um, in this case, I'm saying that there is a dog. Inu ga imasu. But when referring to pets, you don't say, you don't use imasu for owning them. You use the verb kau, which means to, uh, to raise or to, uh, to own a pet. Uh, it, it's a different verb. So, inu, inu ga katte imasu. I'm, I, I, uh, inu ga nibiki katte imasu. I take care, uh, I own two pets. It's a different verb. Omoshiro. Yes, interesting. Uh, so we talked about using uh, aru to describe things that you have or own. Uh, we talked about using aru and iru to describe where things are. The last thing we are going to use aru, again, aru, is to describe... Um, you, you can use aru to describe when something is going to occur. And this will be the third way that we use this. And this is why I'm taking my time with this. And it looks like it's, it will take more than an hour. I hope you guys are enjoying this lesson. This is like, this one's actually one of the more, one of the big important ones. <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Foxes san ga imasu ka? Foxes san ga imasu, imasu ka? I'm asking you guys this question. Foxes san ga imasu ka? Or, or better yet, um, chatto ni foxes san ga imasu ka? Chatto ni foxes san ga imasu ka? Or sim quite simply, foxes san ga imasu ka? What does this mean, by the way? If I say foxes san ga imasu ka? Foxes san ga imasu ka? Is he here? Yes, I'm asking. Is he here? Is foxes here? I'm using imasu because foxes is a living person. Uh, yeah, foxes got koko janai. Um, maybe not koko janai. Uh, we're still gonna use imas. Fox, uh, it'd be iye, foxes got koko ni imasen. Imasen. Iye, imasen. Like he's not here. So, imasen. So, to answer that, I could say iye, which means no. Iye. Fox san ga imasen. Like this. Eh to. Jesse, nan, nan, nan de? Why? Why'd you do that? Iye, fox san ga imasen. Or, and I put that in parentheses because you could easily just say, Iye, imasen. Uh, but let me go back to our notes, cause, and this one will, will be a, a bit longer. Like I can be more elaborate with the examples for this one. You can use aru. Uh, you can use aru to describe when something is going to occur. Uh, to occur. So if I said, um, let's use this for example. 
Um, actually, I can do this in kanji. Jack Sensei, Sega Takai Deska, Sega Takakunai. Jitsua, Jitsua, Orega, Sega Hikui. Let's look at this sentence real quick, this example. Kinyobi ni testo ga arimas. Kinyobi ni testo ga arimas. Kinyobi ni testo ga arimas. What do you think this means? Kinyobi ni testo ga arimas. There's a test today? There is a test, but when? Itsu desu ka? Testo wa itsu desu ka? Yes. Um, not, maybe I, or you could use I. There is a test on Friday. Test uwu. Oh, kuna nunu. You, that's the kind of test you like, huh? You like the uwu testing. <laughs> uh, but there is a test on Friday. Notice, we, once again, we're using particle ni. But this particle is a little different. Whereas in, our, in the first example, when we were talking about where things are, we were using particle ni instead of particle de to describe where things exist. But this particle ni is for what? We are using particle ni correctly in this sentence. What is this particle ni used for? Remember, what is particle ni used for? One is direction. What's the other use for particle ni? Because this one's not direction. Um, yes, we're talking about a time. This this ni is used for a time reference. We're saying on Friday. And it's right here. We're using the word on. So on Friday, there is a test. So in this case, particle ni is used as a time reference. Now remember the rules for using particle ni as a time reference. Sometimes it's not needed, especially for uh, uh, vague dates. Like if I were to say like kyo, I don't need it because today's uh, a general time. Class reaction, we're hearing that. So say mina san, etto ne. What is it? Kahoot no testo wa kinyobi ni arimasu yo. Kahoot testo wa kinyobi ni arimasu yo. Sorry wa uso da. That's a, that's a lie, but <laughs> uh, in that example, kahoot testo uh, wa kinyobi ni. Uh, hold, I, hold on. Kahoot testo ga kinyobi ni arimasu. Uh, let me do another example. In fact, I'm going to do a few examples before I try to ask you guys to try these. Um, let's say... Ashita. Ashita. Now, tomorrow is a general day. Um, I know... Uh, it's not a specific time tomorrow, so Ashita does not need particle ni. It's not a specific time. It's kind of like Kyo, where, um, again, it's like a general time frame. It's not uh, necessarily an exact moment. So Ashita, for, and what does Ashita mean, by the way? Ashita, Ashita no imi wa nan desu ka? Ashita. <laughs> it does mean manana. So next week also wouldn't need ni. Actually, it does. And that's. Mm. <sighs> like, this is where. Like, I, I have a hard time explaining the time referencing. Ashita doesn't use ni. 
but Shu Raishu does. Yes, Ashita is tomorrow. So if I said Ashita Nihon Nihon, I'm using Nihon because we've learned the kanji. Nihongo no kurasu ga arimasen. What does this mean? Ashita Nihongo no kurasu ga arimasen. Ashita Nihongo no kurasu ga arimasen. There is no Japanese class tomorrow. That is correct. There is no Japanese class tomorrow. So for practice, try to make these sentences on uh, in chat. Practice. Let's try this one. Um. Hmm. On Wednesday, I spelled Wednesday wrong. On Wednesday. There is a movie. On Wednesday, there is a movie. How would you try to say this? Uh, use what we've known, what the uh, what we've been taught so far. On Wednesday, there is a movie. On Wednesday, there is a movie. How would we say this? And for Wednesday, yes, you can use the kanji to write Wednesday in chat. On Wednesday, there is a movie. All right, I have an answer from Jesse. Let's see what everyone else comes up with. Oops, let me move this aside. So, Jesse said, Sui Yobi. Sorry. Sui Yobi for Wednesday. Sui Yobi ni for our time reference. For t there is a movie. Eiga for movie. Eiga. We don't know the kanji yet. Eiga ga arimas. That is correct. So, Sui Yobi ni. Eiga ga arimas. Very good. Hmm. Let's try it all together at this point. Here's our next example. There is a student. We did we did learn student. We haven't learned the word classroom. Let's say, in the restaurant. There is a student in the restaurant. Try writing this in Japanese. There is a student in the restaurant. There is a student in the restaurant. Um, before we go on, what is student in Japanese? This was one of the words we did learn before. Who remembers? What is student in Japanese? Hai, gakusei. 
I'll put that in Romanji for you guys. Gakuse. So how would I say? There is a student. Uh, there is a student in the restaurant. Now remember, we're talking about the location of something. So because we're talking about the location, go back to the first one. We're using this particle instead. We're using this particle instead. So go in and give this a shot. There is a student in the restaurant. I see Woobly's answer. Uh, Jesse, uh, try to fix your answer. <laughs> Oof, my back. I'm mining Bitcoin while watching. <laughs> oh no, Bit oh no, no, no. How many graphics cards do you have then? <laughs> As an honest, does that mean you give up or you try? <laughs> uh, there is a student in the restaurant. And remember, student, gokse. All right, guys, um, I'll put the answer in. Um, all right, so here we go. Uh, according to the frame I gave you, we start with the location. Uh, so our locate, our, our place, we're gonna put restaurant. So restaurant, and we must use particle ni when using the verb aru iru when describing the uh, where something is. We don't use particle de. And this is one of the tricky rules when it comes to this verb. So restaurant ni. Gakse ga, and all of you were using the the verb imas. Uh, can you explain why do we use imas again? Why are we using imas? And I, I'll probably ask you guys this many time, many a time. Naz, uh, doshite imas o skaimasu ka? Why did we use imas instead of arimas? Yes, there is a student, and imas is for living things. We are talking about a student. Um, so, restaurant ni gakusei ga imasu. Now, Woobly's answer, he put gakusei ga restaurant ni imasu. And that's perfectly fine. Remember, the word order, as long as the particles, restaurant ni, restaurant ni, gakusei ga, gakusei ga. As long as the particles are connected to the correct uh, subject, um, it is perfectly fine. Yes, yeah, student do be living. Although some students at some point, you just they just feel like they're dead. I'll let you know that some of the t sometimes teachers also feel like we're dead. See you me that. <laughs> uh, let's try another one. My last week with finals. Oh no. Speaking of, let's see. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Mm. The teacher has a... We'll make it easy. The teacher has sushi. Try this one. The teacher has sushi. The teacher has sushi. I don't, sadly. I'm a little upset now that I bring this up because I don't have sushi. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like the, I like the, the like the annoyed, angry face the the face rig makes. Mm. <laughs> uh, George Jesse's answer. Oh, I didn't do this in hiragama. I, I apologize. Quiet. 
Koi? Does anyone in here read Webtoons, by the way? I've been, like, completely caught up with, um, extra, or I think it's, um, uh, Takai, are you trying to say expensive? Takai desu. Like, uh, what's, what's that, what's this Webtoon? Unordinary or something. And I'm like, I, I don't know why, but I've completely fallen in love with it. And I'm like, ah, yeah, Unordinary. I want them to update it so much faster. Like, um. Webtoon artists drop faster. <laughs> I feel so bad saying that. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, sushi wa... Sensei wa sushi ga arimasu. Yes, remember, using a particle, ga. So, sen... Sensei wa, since we're talking about me. Sensei... Oh my god. Sensei wa sushi, the object, ga arimasu. We're using ga to show emphasis, or that we're presenting new inf information, or emphasizing that um, he has the sushi. If we didn't know which teacher, it'd be ga for sensei, right? Um, in this case, no. Just sensei wa sushi ga arimasu. Um, uh, only because... Only because um, we're referring to... Uh, just by, based on context, we're referring to me. But be, I think we're using ga because we have to uh, emphasize the object which this teacher has. Sensei wa sushi ga arimasu. And then we'll do one last example. Um, let's see. Hmm, let's do a time reference one. No, I, I already did it. There is no, um... Hold on, let me, I'm, I, like I said, I'm try, I keep trying to use the vocabulary, but I keep reverting to some of the old one. Uh, sushi o tabe takunai. I don't want to eat sushi, or sushi o tabe nai. I don't eat sushi. Uh, sushi o tabe nai, then. I don't eat uh, sushi o tabe masen. Um, there is no desk in the classroom. Desk is one of our new vocabulary words. We haven't learned classroom yet, so I gave it to you. Uh, kyoshitsu. I think, wait, kyoshitsu or kyoshitsu? Let me double check. Sushi o tabimasen. Yes, just sushi o tabimasen. Uh, kitsuneko ku, uh, kitsuneko san. Uh, konban wa kyoshitsu ka kyoshitsu for classroom. Kyoshitsu ka kyoshitsu desu ka? Dochi ga tadashi desu ka na? Here, I'll look it up. Kyo, kyoshitsu ka kyoshitsu. Ha, kyoshitsu, kyoshitsu. So, I, I'm gonna spell this correct. There is no desk. Uh, desk is one of our new vocabulary words, guys. Well, how do we say desk in Japanese? Desk. Ah, kyoshitsu desu ne? Hi, skue. So desk in Japanese, skue. So how would we build this sentence? There is no desk in the classroom. Uh, based on what we, we've we learned, uh, Kitsuneko-san using the kanji and using niwa instead, which is appropriate, but for uh, for our lesson, let's just use ni so I don't overcomplicate. <laughs> So create this sentence. There is no desk in the classroom. Mm. Could we use krasu? I mean, I guess we could. But kyoshitsu would be more like the, the room where the class happens kind of thing.
Whereas Kurasu is more like the subject, I believe, that like more of the subject that's being taught. Ne, Kitsuneko, uh, Kitsuneko-san, Oh,違う. Uh, So Kitsuneko-san gave us an answer already. Mina-san, try to build this sentence. この文を使ってください. はい、そうですよ。教室、あ、教室。So for classroom, 教室に教室に机がありません。教室に机がありません。Remember, Remember, we're using particle ga for there it, there are no in the classroom. 教室に机がありません。yeah, Kurasu feels more like the class time or group of students. Like for me, like it, it also sounds like the subject, whereas Kyoshitsu is specifically the classroom. Uh, Kurasu is more, more. I, I don't want to say vague, but kind of thing. Oh, I didn't remember the word for classroom. Kyoshitsu for classroom. Uh, Kyo for like to learn, or Oshieru. Yeah, to learn. So, Mino-san, shitsumon ga arimasu ka? Remember, shitsumon, question. Ga arimasu, do you have? Shitsumon ga arimasu ka? Motto, shitsumon ga arimasu ka? Do you have no questions? So, shite, kyo. This is what we learned today. Uh, we learned that there are two verbs that mean the same thing. They mean there is or there are or something exists. Those verbs are aru and iru. Remember, aru is used for things, objects, non-living things. Whereas iru is used for people, animals, or in general living things. When you can use aru and iru to describe the location of objects. And we, we're learning a pretty basic sentence for this. Yeah, arimasu uh, We're using a pretty basic frame for now. Uh, the next class, which I'm still hoping to do on Wednesday. We I suddenly got a surprise meeting again. Rolling eyes. <laughs> uh, but I will try to do lessons again on Wednesday. We will be learning how to describe more specifically using uh, prepositional phrases. Like on top of the desk, under the desk, inside my bag, kind of thing. So this frame, we use the place. Master Cade, welcome in. We use the place. When describing the location of place, we use particle ni instead of particle de. This, is, this, this may be strange since we just learned that de is used for location, but uh, this is required when using the verbs aru or iru. Then we have our thing. Then particle ga, which is used when emphasizing new or presenting new information. And our verb, arimas or imas. Alice, stop it. I think it's because my dogs went to the beach that he keeps like trying to lick his paws, like salty or something. He needs a dog needs a bath. <laughs> uh, so like practice, there is a cat over there. For cat, remember, we use imas because neko ga, neko ga imas. Neko is a living thing. Cat is a living thing. Whereas for this one, there is a restaurant here. Koku ni restaurant ga arimasu. We used arimasu because restaurant is a non-living thing. Uh, we talked about using aru to describe things that you own or in possession of. Sankoyori san wa pan ga arimasu. Sankoyori has bread. And a question was asked, why don't we use particle no for this? Um, there is a difference here. This uh, particle no is for ownership. But the difference is like this is some coyote's bread using like the apostrophe s versus he has bread like the meanings are similar but there is a difference am i allowed to be slightly lewd um 
I don't know. <laughs> uh, so for practice, Watashi wa Terubi ga arimasu. I have a TV. Anato wa Tokei ga arimasu ka? Do you have a watch? Do you have a clock? <laughs> toss. Guys, let's all like add, put our toss for salads right there. <clears throat> Lewd salad. Toss the salad. <laughs> uh, I do not have a photograph. Shashin ga arimasen. And, uh, shitsumon ga arimasu. Do you have any? I don't have questions. Shitsumon ga arimasen. Uh, and then the last thing we learned with aru is to describe when something is going to occur. Now, this, I, I may need to further elaborate on the time reference, like particle ni in this case is a time reference. Uh, but some words don't use it, like ashita does not use particle ni, but like shumatsu ni for like this weekend, it does. I think the best way to describe that is like on Friday, we, we would say like on Friday or on the weekend. We wouldn't say like on the morning or in the mor- or we wouldn't say on the morning or on today, which is kind of weird. Or on tomorrow, in tomorrow. I think that's the best way I can describe, like, when you do not use ni. Uh, but, like, Ashita nihongo no kratsu ga arimasen. There is no Japanese class tomorrow. Kinyobi ni testo ga arimasu. There is a test on Friday. Okay, let's see. <laughs> you you probably use imas, I guess. <laughs> so so does <laughs> Uh And then on Wednesday there is a movie. I probably should have said Friday because uh, Kitsuneko san, you always do movies on Friday. Uh, so on Wednesday there is a movie. Uh, Suiyobi ni ega ga arimas. Uh, remember, guys, when you're talking about when, uh, when you use particle aru, uh, the thing that comes before the object you're talking about, don't forget you use particle ga. Some of you are still trying to use g uh, wa or o. I will be putting practice problems on the Discord for you guys to try out uh, for these also. Uh, and then putting it all together, there's a student in the restaurant. Restaurant ni gakusei ga imasu. The teacher has sushi. Sensei wa sushi ga arimasu. And then there is no desk in the classroom. Kyoshitsu ni tsukue ga arimasu. Or ga arimasu. There is no desk in the classroom. Um, I do want to talk about the Discord real quick. Um, for those of you that are in the Discord, if you go to Japanese One Practice, I did put some questions here from the other day. No one's tried these yet. These are uh, using um, uh, how to tell time as well as the day, uh, as well as the days of the month kind of thing. Naniega desu ka? Which movie? I don't know. Wakarimasen. Shite masen. I don't. I don't know. Shirimasen. Uh, so try to give these a try. I will be putting some. Uh, I may put a picture here for you guys to try to explain. Are there? Does this exist in someone's town? Kind of thing. Uh, if you do not have access to the Discord yet, komen wa Jack Sensei. Gomen nasai. Watashi wa so. Oso. Oso kure mashita. I'm used to like, oh, so come up, this will be my son. Hi, Foxy san, oh, so i desu yo. Foxy san no seiseki wa, seiseki, seiseki, seiseki wa B ni naru. Oh, so i desu yo. Ah, seiseki wa B ni narimasu yo. Oh, so i da kara. Use it as an adjective. Alright, so again, um,. I'll try these exercises later. I was working on previous ones. That's perfectly fine too. So I'll put some questions on how to use uh, the part, uh, how to use aru iru in a moment, and that will be the end of today's lesson. So to give you guys a heads up, let me go and insert the table for the next lesson real quick. Oh, hold on, there we go. Next class, and I'm going to do my best to make it Wednesday. I, 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 I've been canceling a lot of my Wednesday's classes because of work-related issues. But I will do my best. Gambarimasu yo. I will do my best to have class this Wednesday. Even if I'm sleepy, I will do my best. Because <laughs> I, I, I feel bad, like, skipping out on Wednesday classes. Raven the Wise Vulps, welcome in. We're actually about to raid out. <laughs> um, so Wednesday, uh, we will be... Uh, what's, what's it called? Re prepositional phrases, I believe. Yes, we will be, like, describing where things are. 
So here we will be describing where things are. And then still using aru iru. And if time allows, um, we'll be going over a few new particles as well. Uh, in fact, there's only one new particle we need to learn for this chapter, and it's particle to. Right. So, Minasan, thank you for coming in. Uh, remember, um, let me do my last Discord spiel. If you would like to, if you are just coming in, or if you're new to the chat, uh, exclamation point Discord. We'll send you. Uh, Put up a link that will allow you an invitation to my discord it brings you first to this rule page once you accept the rules by reacting here you will be uh you'll have access to all the channels except for the japanese lesson if you want access to that make sure you go to role selector and react here at the very bottom with jack sip there are 42 of you guys that's amazing this will give you the japanese lesson uh, someone just posted uh the japanese lesson resources currently we're on japanese one at the very top, you'll see the play playlist for all the previous lessons. We are currently on session 16. I do have session 15 here. I, I, I was able to update this on a good time. So if you've missed any lessons or you, you would like to start from the beginning, you're welcome to watch the videos to, uh, that we've uh, for the lessons that we've done before. Also on the Discord, you'll find the notes for chapters 1, chapter 2, 3, and our current chapter, chapter 4, that we are working on. Uh, as an example for the practice, I see like Woobly has done some of the practice problems here. Uh, I occasionally will put in practice problems after each lesson for you guys to try and get some suggestions or help with. If you have any other general questions, you can always use the Japanese chat here to ask your questions to the group as well. Uh, that's going to be it for today's lesson. I hope you guys had a good, uh, enjoyed the lesson. Uh, like I said, next class we'll be describing where things are still using aru iru, but we're going to be using more like uh, more prepositional phrases like on top of the desk, under the desk, inside the bag, uh, on top of the TV, that kind of thing. So let's see, who can we rate out to? Let's see, is it specific Fox streaming yet? <laughs> For Japanese lessons part two. Mada mada ne. Oh, no, just live. Okay, perfect. Live two minutes ago. So everyone, we're going to raid out to on top of the fox. Ooh, awesome lesson. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for coming in. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Tore-sensei wa kitsune-sensei no ue ni arimasu. Ooh, toss, 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 toss. <laughs> Next to this, uh, kitsune no soba ni arimasu. So... We're gonna raid out to Kitsuneko-san. We're, go we're going from our uh, beginning Japanese class to the next one. Doing jumping jacks in circles while pouring a bucket of water over the box. All right, that's a little bit too elaborate now. <laughs> uh, so slash raid at Kitsuneko42. And our raid message is going to be, there is a fox in the restaurant. I can't, why can't I spell it? Why can't I spell this now? I got so used to spelling it in Japanese. And then use whatever Jack, uh, whatever heart emotes you guys have. So I, I'm gonna do this. So there's a fox in the restaurant. This will be our raid message for today. Thank you guys for coming in. Next lesson will be on Wednesday, where we further uh, learn how to explain the location of objects or things. Thank you guys again. I'll catch you guys then. Oh, and if you would like to watch, I am doing my uh, my Final Fantasy re-clears for Final Fantasy XIV tomorrow at 5 o'clock p.m. if you'd like to watch that also. Especially if you're a Final Fantasy fan. It'd be a lot of fun. Thank you guys. Catch you guys later. Oh.